Trump's finally getting the chance to fight back after endless harassment during the defund movement. A New York County passing a bill allowing officers and other first responders to file civil lawsuits against people who criminally harass or assault them. But it does not include screaming obscenities at police officers. All right, so Geraldo, because you gave me the last word, and now I'm going to give you the first word, and you're also <laughs> you. a lawyer. So how is this actually different from just assaulting or harassing a regular person? Great question. And I don't understand why this law is even necessary because of exactly what you say. Mm -hmm. If you push a cop or you punch a cop or you uh, knock a cop on the head, you've committed an assault. You've committed a crime. It's the state against you. And, of course, there's civil liability. It, it would seem to me that a cop could sue someone who hurt him, uh, particularly him or her, uh, particularly if it was adjudicated, if the, if the, tr if the uh, protester was tried and convicted of assault, then the cops certainly could have uh, access to the civil courts for damages. I like the message, though, Katie. I like the fact that we're saying that, uh, you know, cops are people, too. How dare you? Uh, that cop is representing a lot of other people, and, and they were way out of line. In those riots and the looting, and last, they, were, they were so over the line. That wasn't protesting. That was anarchy. You know, Dana, it definitely sends a message uh, to the police and to first responders at a time when they feel like nobody has their back, even if the law already protects them in this way. Yeah, and, you know, so if, if you go back to when they first started passing hate crime laws, there were people who were opposed to that were like, well, crime is crime. And so who, no matter who it happens against, but what happens is when you have something like this where you try to specialize it or make it very specific, maybe it gets a little bit of a different headline, uh, for example. But it'd be interesting to see if there are any lawyers out there who will take up these cases. I will. And help them. But you're not a lawyer, <laughs> but can you find some? I will go to law school just so I could open up my own little law office and defend cops. I mean, it'd be interesting. Like, if you're one of these lawyers who wants to take on these cases, give us a call. I, I won't do that. Okay. I, I make a good living here. But <laughs> I, loved, I love this idea. I think the, 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 the reason why this is important, why the message is so important, is because we now realize that you can commit a crime and you get out. You right. can, can commit a crime and there's, there's absolutely no damage done to you. Uh, there, there was a, uh, a female, I think a female police officer was uh, attacked and when they arrested the guy, it turned out he had just attacked some cops before and was released. And, and so it's like... You know, it's time to create consequences, especially for uh, especially if you're targeting like brats who come from families with deep pockets like these undergrads. And if they're spraying stuff in, in cops eyes or hitting them with bottles, go after their family, sue them. Why not? Yeah. I, I'm totally for it. So, Jesse, that's I think that we're going to see lawsuits from the other side of this. So people who yeah. support Black Lives Matter, who support the violent bailout funds for these so-called protesters are going to be saying this is an assault on the First Amendment rights of people to assemble while leaving out the peacefully part. Katie, if police get special carve outs, then conservative commentators should get some, <laughs> too. I should be able to pursue civil damages. I have been menaced. By the way, I love that statute, menacing. Menaced, I've been harassed, I've been assaulted with beverages. You could have charged. Surely could have, I could. You could have charged a crime against that guy who did that. Sue someone for $25,000. <laughs> what was the beverage? It was a beer, Geraldo. I've also had water and vodka. Mm. Did you punch him? No. Well, oh, you got to read, read the book. The book. <laughs> <laughs> you can't but save the world that way. I just don't think this is going to maybe have a little chilling effect in Nassau County. But not in Manhattan <laughs> County, where a lot of the riots happen. And so hopefully this kind of bolsters the protection for police officers. But Greg's right. These DAs do drop charges a lot. But when you put this in front of a county judge, mm -hmm. a county judge is a little tougher than anybody else. And he might actually let this case go. Yeah, and quickly, Geraldo, I mean, that's where these things have to happen if they can't happen in maybe New York City, but more of a local level of people take the local school, you know, local uh, county boards doing this to make, ensure their own little community is protected. True, and Nassau County is a, is a red county. Uh, they voted for uh, Trump. Uh, Hannity lives there. O'Reilly lives there. It's a, <laughs> you know, it's a hotbed. It's a pro-law and order of county. Conservatives. No, I, I like the messaging is so important. You say to cops, we love you, man. Yep. We love you. You're, you're for us. We do love them. Okay, up next.